Hello, Monsters Band here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 18 of my Grimgore Ironhide campaign for Patreon supporters. Because it's Patreon supporters, early access. I always remember the episode number. It's probably not true. Last time, we beat up the Prune Man. He is basically out of here. And we had a poll. The poll was, should we ignore Cathay and concentrate on the vampires or crush Cathay and give ourselves the breathing room to move all of our forces to engage the vampire threats. And most people seem to say we're going to kill Cathay. Now, this will take slightly longer, but it will have the benefit of, of you know, if we can hold the vampires at the mountains, right? If we have um, Scarstick and Racknick holding back these guys, then basically we'll have, uh, is it four, three, three, four, four armies? Four, yeah, so we'll have four armies to invade Cathay with. Now, as we invade Cathay, what we can do is basically, you know, turn these... Because I mean, we, we haven't really gained any territory in quite a while um, due to the fact that we were, you know, invading the Chaos Waste. So, can't believe these Skaven have yet to wipe out these... I mean, they've managed to get another settlement, for fuck's sake. Guys, I mean, you, you are doing quite well, though, to be fair. I am great powerful warlord. You are impressed by my tail size, yes, yes. It certainly is girthy. Anyway, so it's it's nice to see them doing okay for themselves, which is which is great. Uh, the Empire is hard pressed against the vampires, and my concern is once the vampires have finished with the Empire, they'll probably all pile into me. So uh, we better make this quick. So let's concentrate everything we've got on murdering these these jerks uh so money is actually pretty good we could potentially get now we do have this little army over here don't we well there's quite a few people actually let's get uh no we don't have a goblin big boss do we have a shaman we do have a shaman okay we could get a river troll hack uh let's you know what the nasty Yeah, okay. Let's get replenishment because God knows goblins need it. Uh, I mean, this is generally fine. What we could potentially do is if we move there so we're not raiding our own territory, we could then do some recruitment here. Uh, so, if we get rid of... Well, you know what? You did quite well, to be fair. I quite like this. The, the six squig hoppers is is a mood. I like that. I could use. You know what I could do with like a giant, like a character killer. That would be good, wouldn't it? Maybe we get a couple of giants. I kind of like the rogue idol, but I feel like the giant's probably better, right? Well, if we just pin that and have a look at you. So, you do have more armor, but basically worse everything else, and you're more expensive. I mean, you do have more health, but that's... That's that's basically it, really. I mean, you do have the... Uh, you do have the physical resistance. I, you know what? I just... I just... I just, I just think they're neat. Um, I have to... Maybe if we only have a... I quite like the three units of those. Maybe if we slim it down to... Let's merge those. Then we've got a slot, which we can put the, the nasty in. So then we've got some giants, some cav, a little bit of artillery there, a nice front line, and some character killers, which is something that we just je we just do not have in uh, in a goblin army so having some having some big old giants there could only be a good thing so we're going to do that okay so we got so basically we can invade Cathay with like five arm well no even more than that because we've got four down here we've got another one here and then one here so basically we can come through the north Oglock can fend off this attack by Miao Ying and then all four of these armies can come into the south and basically start conquering this and if we can kind of like surge across to the coastline here and then move north um capturing all this I think will be a massive boon not all of it is mountains a lot of it is this sort of like unpleasant climate which we're going to have a little bit of reduction in income but I mean you know minus 15 percent of 500 income is still better than no income that's my that's that's maths people 
that's a little bit of maths there for you. That's right, the Monsters Bound channel is uh, was all about the knowledge, the knowledge dump. That's right, I'm taking a big dump of knowledge on, on you. So, enjoy that. Okay, hopefully Gerald can do some hits there. I don't, I mean, we could hop Scar Stick over. I wonder if we could actually do that. Like, if I go here, can I hop across? I wonder if I can. Hmm, if we can do that. And then over here, we're actually, like, almost laying siege to... To Kazakarak, knocking out the dwarves. I mean, we, we, we do have Wurzag down here joining in as well, which is great stuff. That's kind of what we wanted. There is an army growing here, which we do need to put a stop to. Um, that is a slight issue, but I reckon we can deal with that. Um, if we can take Kazakarak, though, hell, even if we can fucking sack it, it'd be amazing. Now, I want Gorefag here just to sort of roll around and keep an eye on what's going on, because... Indeed. Because I want to know what the vampires are up to, how far they've got, when I will be expecting them to sort of, like, smash down my front door. Also, we've got more vampires here. Let's, uh, block. Oh, you did actually succeed. Good job, buddy. Good job. Right, we'll repair that. These guys don't have any home anymore, which is good. Uh, nerd jug, you can damage walls. That will actually be quite useful for us, especially if we can get you down here to hand you port. There's a lot of armies down here. There's, there's a lot of armies. However, our war is but 10 turns from completing. And if we complete it, we get more speed, which is great, because obviously we want to get into melee combat as soon as possible. Income from post-battle loot, which is good, because that's basically how we're making our money. And then more winds of magic power reserve, which is... I mean, it's fine. I'll take it. Let's go. I can kill you later. If you uh, let me guess. You want me to declare war on Kuga? I don't know. Help it for some reason. I don't know why everyone's fighting help it. Like, I don't mind. It's fine. But... Eh? I was just admire. I've, I've, um... I've been... I've, I've, I fell down the, the Games Workshop hole again. And, uh, I've been... I've been getting some Necromunda stuff. Probably, probably said before. And I was just admiring my... Is it a Piscean Spectre? Like the big Dalak robot octopus thing? You do have to question that a little bit. Because back in my day, right? Back in the old the old 90s Necromunda, you never had shit like that. These days, it's all over the fucking place. And to be honest, you can't help but feel the Inquisition kind of dropping the ball with the Dalak. Because um, there's... What, what the fuck is going on with those guys? It's, it's literally a, 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 a alien octopus robot psyker. I mean, that, that breaks pretty much all of the rules. I genuinely don't know how they've gone. Oh, that seems fine. The fucking Inquisition, mate. They should, they should be dealing with that. Okay, that's one less army to deal with. Let's get them, boys. That's it. Finish them off. I feel like I actually healed up from, from those battles. Not to mention, I made some money. Which is uh, good stuff. Can we catch you? Now, uh, I don't know if you'll run or not. Oh, you're not going to run. Uh, that's good. But, a lot of you survived the battle. But, you're not going to survive this. That's right, Wag. Wag having a lovely time there. Chuckling away to himself. As we knock out the first of the vampire factions. Now, obviously, we do have a slight issue. Kugath is... Well, I don't know. If we, if we attack Cathay, he may continue to be pretty chill. So, we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on that, I think. Uh, to be honest, probably marching is better. Okay, we need to 
and start advancing. So we're going to start advancing in this direction. Uh, I think, like, the vamp... I mean, the vampiric corruption is a problem, but I think for the most part, we've got a handle on this. I wonder if I can give this to Kugath. Have you brought the Skaven Black? Because it's going to rebel anyway. Holy shit. I mean, it's, it's going to rebel anyway, isn't it? Because of all the Nurgle corruption. So fuck all I can do about that. So I'm just going to give it to him. Did I just buy? I just bought. Perhaps you could spare me a biopsy. Maybe we just kill. <laughs> Fuck! Have you brought the Skaven bladders? I asked for. Okay. I think. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, let's untax that for a start. That should help. And I mean, it's 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 fine. We got the money. We got the money. It's fine. Anything to reduce corruption. I'm not sure it'll help really, but. Uh, worth a punt. Okay, we'll go and deal with Kugath first then. Go and deal with Kugath first. That's that's objective one. Uh, let's bring you over here because it does look like the Cathayans are getting a little bit feisty. Okay, we can hop over it. Right, we, we we can just. Curb stomp uh, Kugath. Do that pretty. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about then is uh, Libras potentially becoming a Libras ability. Being, being where she is. Uh, so, can we. Oh, shit. Not quite. No. That's a shame. Okay, okay. Oh, unless it's maybe because of the war? Oh, you succeeded, you boss, Gerald. You're a fucking, you're a fucking genius, Gerald. Fuck me, mate. What a guy. What? He's a dodgy geezer. Damn right, he's a dodgy geezer. Damn right, he's a dodgy geezer. All right, let's get the nasty. She's not doing the nasty. You understand? She just is nasty. Okay. Anyone else that we've not remembered? Oh, Racknick. Okay, now. This is not in the damage card. Eh? Oh. No. I mean, this is a problem. There's vampires incoming. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe if we can take. I, f I feel like because you're not marching, so you could reach us. I feel like they'd just attack us, to be honest. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to pull back. We're just going to pull back because we can't be sure what's going to happen there. In fact, I'm potentially going to pull back a little bit more just so I can't get spotted because a lot of heroes hanging around Kazakarak. Why? Have you used all of your movement? How the fuck have you used all your... Oh, because of the war, probably. Because of the war. Of course. This is why I don't do them very often. They just have these weird fucking effects. Um, right. Worry not the most prudent Okay, let's cancel that. Uh, yeah, I don't... Mm, well... We're almost offsetting it. Almost. This. If we get a couple of these. So they're going to take a couple of turns. That's going to reduce corruption as well. As well as reduce the chance of plague spreading, which is probably good as we go. Now, uh, I'll probably wreck my reputation here. Not that that's 
a super big problem. I could always join your war. You give me a whole 202. Wow. Thanks. I'll try not to spend all that in one place. Hey. Hey. Try not to spend that in one place. Fuck me. I spent more than that on a fucking settlement. I mean, that's fine. I got the money. Rachnik. Let's give you magical reserves, because I would like to give you arcane conduit. What do you got? Scroll of stone. I reckon we can probably fuse some of this shit together. I might, I might edit this bit out. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, I just spent a long time merging items and shit and eventually got bored. Let's give you... Uh, well, I think I always go for... What is your range? 150. I don't think an extra 20% is really going to do very much. I think, on the other hand, shooting faster is never a bad thing. I don't like this, but there's very little I can do about it at the moment. I don't have any army spare. And to be honest, I genuinely don't think that Drake is going to do too much damage. She she had a chance that she didn't really bother. Oh, now I've got to sign skill points. Fuck me. Anyone else? No, just you. Right, okay. I'm not too worried about that. You guys just keeping an eye on what's going on. So it's like they're sieging down Kappelberg. The Empire does seem to be fighting back. I just don't think it's got the armies. However, with any luck, the undead will waste their strength here and then have the lots of territory to recruit terrifying stacks anyway. So there is that. Tire sack. I will tie. Yeah, alright. Alright. I mean, you didn't stop Dreyker from just traipsing through your lands, did you? But never mind. Let's not mention that, eh? I don't need the extra money, to be honest. Ain't earth, ain't earth worrying about it. Okay, Rachnik was spotted. Nerdjug is back. We need to do... Well, maybe Greasus will do it for us. Well, can we trust Greasus? Yeah, is it though? Is it though? <sighs> do I just... Slip? Right, well... We, we've, we've got some time before that becomes a problem. So let's just let Greasus... Do some shenanigans and see if we can lure in this army, which is heading towards us. I guess I guess they want a tasty free settlement, don't they? You have wandered off. Can we potentially push that? Interference will cost you dear. You are raiding me. Can we... Oh, Meow Ying's on our way as well. Let us... Let us meander. Let us meander in this direction. And... We will... We're gonna leave... We're gonna leave... We're gonna leave Kugath. He doesn't like us much at the moment. But... He probably won't declare war. And with any luck... Ah, uh, got a fucking plague. All right. Well, the plague is actually not doing. Oh, it's just it's oof. minus armor I, again. That's not really going to affect us very much. And then minus weapon strength, which again is isn't going to affect us very much because we, we don't have a huge amount of either. To be honest, you you can't hurt what's not there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh I was hoping we could jump over. I wonder if it's because of the war. 
Is it because of the law? Let's try and get rid of it. Fuck me, it is because of the law. Okay, we can hop down there. Oh god, this war is just fucking killing me! Why? Why the fuck? Why the actual ever-loving fuck does it slow you down? That is not as far unless someone could like explain that to me. As far as I can see, there is nothing that says it should slow your movement down. And I swear to God, people have been complaining about this since since the get-go. I might just do an example of it, just to be like, look, here, because I, I get rid of my was. Like, in eight turns, I, I, ge I genuinely don't understand. Gen I, I wish I could just finish the because i get rid of it. Honest to God. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, I'm good. Let's stab this guy. Good job. Wasn't, you know, didn't really need you to stab him, but it's good to see. Can we slow these guys down a little bit? I'm hoping may oh, they may be going for the dwarves. Maybe. May maybe. Maybe. I need to deal with Dryka, though. She may attack. If she attacks, we may be okay. We may be able to defend her. The AI just, just loves sieging your settlements down, doesn't it? It's, it's in no fucking rush. Like, if it attacks, I think... I, I just wish the AI was a little bit more sort of like... Um, aggressive in some ways because it's very aggressive in some ways like the, the player bias all that kind of bollocks like ve very aggressive and then in some ways it's so timid just does not want to pick a fight with you won't it will just siege things down until there's nothing there which in some in some cases is good for the player but also it means that you never really get these really nice sieges oh hello you blunder into our ambush. That is that. That is. A, oh, you've got some skelly boys. Oh, got some skelly boys left over from Prune Man. Ah, oh, well, let's crush those two. Oh, you can't stop Grimgore like that. That's not going to work. Well, see if you do manage to take Grimgore down, you then have to deal with uh, all the fucking Black Orcs. Of course, ambushes are usually pretty brutal affairs. Usually over pretty quick. Ow! Getting rocks dropped on us, but actually taking a bit of damage there, but no actual losses. Skellingtons desperately trying to hold their own. Looking uh, quite good in the, in the turquoise and yellow ensemble. Very nice, but quickly crumbling. The rear of the enemy line, of course, mostly the missile units and the artillery immediately getting overrun, although some of the crane gunners have made a break for it. The squig hoppers have spotted them. They could potentially do some nasty damage if they turn around and got to fire. Uh, fortunately, they didn't. And the Black Orcs at the front of the line just murdering their way through the Celestial Dragon Guards. Although Celestial Dragon Guard, you know, getting some hits in, just, just not as good. Losing decisively. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Excellent, incredibly light losses. Make back some of the money we used to buy that settlement off Kugath. <clears throat> No. What what is what has everyone got against help it? Jesus Christ. Jesus guys. At this yeah, point it's boy. bullying. Come say hello to my him. Hey, where's Zach? Who are you always? Uh a whole bunch of people that I don't like, which is fine. Jo no, I'm not gonna join your war against the Wood Elves. I've got no reason to join your war against the Wood Elves. They're fucking miles away, mate. And my concern is if I do join your war against the Wood Elves. They, they won't be miles away anymore. They'll be right on my doorstep. Uh, 
Okay, now I don't really want to fight Dryka with Scarstick because she's got a lot of... Did you though? Did you? Did you? Were you good boy? Oh, you were good boy. Good boy. Good. Good job. Right. Hello, Dryka. Yeah, you better run. Why don't you just... Dryka, why don't you just fuck off? Have you considered that? Consider just fucking off? Have you? Anything you say. No, where did that... Oh, geez, oh, these, these, these fucking... Alright. Alright. No. Oh, God, look at that. No grudge bearer would do this. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna weaken it. We'll reduce them down to Kazakarak. The problem is, if I if I lay siege to Kazakarak, I guarantee there's gonna be vampires all up in my shit. Guarantee it. Croesus, what happened to your army, mate? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it die? Did it disintegrate? Did it... Did it, did it, did it, yeah? Okay. 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 Look. Look, these things happen. It's fine. So, I mean, I, I reckon, I reckon we can, we can start reducing corruption in. I mean, we've, we've got two settlements. I reckon we can reduce. Like public order seems okay. And I think we can reduce the amount of Nurgle corruption in Kugath's land to cause him issues without us actually having to do anything, which I kind of like the idea of doing. So let's uh, let's concentrate on. Oh my giddy aunt. There's a lot of there's a lot of armies massing there, isn't there? Oh look, and more armies coming through the fucking. Oh no, that's, that's the army that was there before. Okay, that's fine. Hoppity hop. Okay, we'll leave you there for a minute. Now, if I attack, you will obviously. Oh shit, son! <laughs> oh shit! There's a lot of boys. Uh, right. Can we do... Oh, you only get one army. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, if you just all stay there... We'll do that. It'll raid my own lands, but... I'm not overly concerned about that. Um... Right. I bow only before oh, this is going to be a big ruck. But if we break through here, then Han Yu Port is right in front of us. And they did they did take Shang Yang, but they haven't rebuilt it yet. And uh, so, I mean, their, their main their main capitals are going to be Nan Gao, Shan Yang, and Han Yu Port. So, being that they're, they're having to rebuild that. And Shang Yang. If we can hit Han Yu Port, if we can take that, if we can like send one one army down this way and multiple armies up this way to link up with Oglok, who can then take on Miao Ying, we should be able to push into the mountains. If we push into the mountains, we'll get a nice secure sort of base to continue launching attacks from. I am still concerned about Kugath, but if we can like reduce his his, his deteriorating, I wonder if we could. You know what? Let's get a non-aggression pack with him. I know, I know, I cancelled that. I know it's costing me more money, but fuck it, we got those money. It's fine. Um, because then he won't declare war on us, and he'll slowly get chipped away by the fact that we are just being a dick to him. We're just gonna we we're, we're gonna remove we're gonna reduce. I've got to move Sly. Never mind, he's fine. We will reduce his corruption down to nothing and then he'll start having problems with public order and we might get rebellions which should be fun so he'll be busy dealing with that i'll give greece his time oh greece is over there he didn't even attack he just wandered off i love how the ai is always like declare war on this guy no okay i'm not going to do anything about it i just wanted you to do it you lazy bastards Okay, let's see. Are we gonna get uh, gonna get a big ruck? I reckon we might do. 
I'm not declaring war on hell pits. No. Fucking hell. Just look. If you don't, if you, if you hate him that much, oh, you just ran away. You're like, nope. Nope. You only, you only spotted two of our armies as well. Oh, God, Corone's dead. What do we have to do to win the... So, short victory condition is... Okay, we need, we need those, which we don't have. We've done everything else. We've done that. Uh, we haven't done that. We've killed... We've, you know, we're a percentage of the way... Whatever percentage that is. I reckon we can... Let's see it. Oh, God, that's just... They're definitely massing, aren't they? There's definitely a mass going on there. We've got three armies in ambush stance. Now, if, if they miss one of them... I Well, maybe if they miss two of them. I reckon... I reckon we got this. You've still got orcs in your army, but they're gold chevron orcs, so they're actually pretty scary. I mean... 43 melee attack, 37 melee attack, 43 weapon strength. That's genuinely quite worrying f for anyone. Uh, we got mob boss, we got lightning strike. Uh, I could go the boys. Did we? Did we not have the boys? Jeez. Jeez, it's going to make you even more scary. Let's go arm to the teeth. Uh, we've got Arcane Conduit. Let's go Fate of Buna. It's not a spell that I tend to cast very much, but... It's more efficient to cast AoE spells, I feel like. Right, Sly. You can... You know what? May, maybe they'll see Sly and be like, let's get him, lads. My concern is if they do spot Sly and break through, but here's the Ever Chosen, so I feel like he's probably got, you know, he's, 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 he's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, shit me, there's a lot of... There's a lot of guys there, isn't there? Oglock's just, like, holding back, but at least we know, like, that there are... Uh, the more gate is fine. The more gate is safe. Well, safe-ish anyway. Uh, so how much anti-plague do we have? It doesn't actually... S ah, so minus eight from faction, minus six from buildings. So it's currently stable. But once we've got this, it'll actually start decreasing. And we've also got Plague, so that will also... So I reckon we can actually tip the balance there. I reckon we can tip the balance. Uh, let's go back on your feet, even though it's not going to do anything. And we can hit... Now, where did Dryka go? Oh, she's run off this way. Where I... Look, it does look like the vampires are actually going for the... Um, Let's go chase Striker. It looks like the, the vampires are going for the dwarves, which is good. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Well, I'm not happy with it, but... It is happening. It is a thing that's happening. Okay, we do have our wards. So, let's go Bad Moon Banner on... I oh know, you lads. You can get the Sundering attacks. And if we whack the bad... The Flaming Banner on that. I'll give you a little bit more base weapon damage. I mean, you've got 35 weapon strength, which is not too bad. Plus, with the um, additional bonus for armor piercing. So you've got 12 armor piercing, which is actually very, very good. The only problem with goblins, of course, is they are very, very squishy. Looks like the dwarves fancy uh, their chances as they're actually marching out of the settlement to engage us, which is something I've never seen the AI do before. <laughs> I think it's because there wasn't very much stuff down here. I mean, until the reinforcements showed up. Uh, that's because most of my army 
is currently making their way towards the key building point at the rear of the enemy lines. So once we grab that, the dwarves will lose their melee defense bonuses, and then we'll grab the rest of them. And uh, I guess as long as our front line can keep them busy. And uh, we've got an entire war back here. Now, was may slow us down for some reason, but they are good sacrificial troops, which is exactly what we're going to use them for. However, our squid coppers are taking some artillery fire, which we want to really deal with. Because we do have our armoured squigs. It's a squigs, uh, but they've got armour on them. Just just as quick as normal squigs, though. So you could just probably should just armour them generally. Just a thought. Never mind. So I'm like goblins making their way. I, I sent all of them because I wasn't sure whether they would have units back here. As it happened, no. And they sent all their units against me. Which, of course, then meant that, uh, I mean, you know, dwarves, fairly slow. Which means to make it all the way back to retake this is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare for them. So taking up position here, of course, we've got the warp fire throws and the poison wing globideers. Holding back in reserve. So once we've engaged the enemy army, we can then just use our weapon teams to blast them. So taking out that, that bolt thrower before it got too many shots in. And then coming around behind these miners, who, I mean, do have a lot of armor, but very little else. See, in charge of the rear, they've got sundered armor. They've also got poison as well, so their, their stats are now absolute trash. And uh, they're going to die pretty quickly, taking a little bit of fire there, armored squigs. Getting peppered with crossbow shots, but uh, we can quickly wipe out those miners. And then we need to head on to grab this objective over here. We've already got one objective. Now grabbing another one. And so we'll have three out of the five. Lancing up. They're just sending us in a nice big car. They do have some nasty units here. They've got Skaldegarth, Iron Drakes. They've got some fucking gyrocopters over there. They've got artillery. All oh, that's very nasty. I really need to take out Kazakarak to stop them from recruiting shit like that. Like, dwarves. If they're recruiting dwarf warriors, I'm fine with that. Okay, so we're sending our goblins in to die. You know me, love my goblins. But uh, they do one thing really well, and that's explode. Talking of exploding. Yeah, okay, we're getting blatted by that artillery. Really needs to take it out. And uh, incinerated by Iron Drakes as well. But Rachnik is now flanking around. And uh, the enemy is sort of like blobbed up a little bit there. So we can drop some nasty spell. Or we would have done if they didn't just wander off. Yep, that, that did nothing. That did nothing. Sent some spiders in to harass them anyway. Grabbing this objective over here. We got that. So now we can come and knock out these quarrelers. We've got this objective. We're now moving over to grab the minor supply location at the front. Basically, just roll our way up using the, dis the settlement's defenses to our benefit. Taking a little bit of fire there from the quarrelers, but nowhere near enough to stop the charge. And then we've got more squigs coming around from behind as well, sealing the fate of these quarrelers. Meanwhile, the Poison Wing Globideers are taking a a toll on the Dwarves. And we've also got the Warp Fire Throwers coming in from behind. Rachnik engaging the missile units in the back, trying to stop them from firing at him. I did give him a health potion, though, because, you know, he, he has trouble with getting shot at. So I was like, I'll, I'll give him something to protect him. He's fine. Big war. Yeah, getting a little bit flamed there, but overall we're fine. Ah, they've got the fire throwers. Now, the Iron Drakes do have resistance to fire, but even then, they're still going to take, you know, nasty damage from what fire throwers. So far, so good. And we finally knocked out the Grudge Thrower there. Did a lot of damage to us, but finally, it has been silenced. 
A unit of iron breakers got surrounded. Goblins engaged the front, and then the river trolls attacked from behind. The iron, I mean, they, they are still holding, but not for very long. And also, without support, they're not going to be able to do any damage back. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't notice this, but... Uh, oh, my God, I think... I think my goblin big boss died. He does survive the battle, though. Did he? Is he shattered? I think he might be. Oh, he's, he's only shattered. He's got 50 health points left. That was very close. That was very, very close. Thorgrim fighting maggots. Who is also taking a lot of damage from the poison wind globes. But to be honest, that's fine. As long as we kill Thorgrim, I don't really care. The war can take as much damage. As long as my long as my normal army is is fairly intact that's the important thing the squid hoppers have been fairly instrumental here just rolling around taking out those artillery units targets opportunity and running down fleeing units as well which is uh, quite important they're very good at that the, the squid hoppers are like doggos but like actually useful in other like they've got good melee attack and defense and the armored ones have got good armor as well and the weapon strength is good, and their speed is fantastic. So they're, they're just excellent all-round fast-moving units. Like, they can, they can just get a lot of shit done. I've got a lot of time for them. Well, with Thorgrim down and his, his little expeditionary force defeated, we now move in to mop up the survivors. There's a little knot of survivors here. I don't know why, but with their king dead, they also decide to retreat. I think it's also because we grabbed all the objectives, so even the Slayers are... Yeah, even the Slayers run away. Oh, a sneaky one. Oh my god, I almost looked like a big boss. Didn't even realise that. He's fine, though. He is fine. Okay, let's sack that. Let's do a little... Uh, lovely little sack. Get some replenishment back as well. Uh, let's go get back here. Let's give you blade shields. And you're on 50 health. Okay, well that was close. That was close, to say the least. Uh, let's give you more weapon strength. You can just sit there for a minute. We've done, done in Thorgrim. We'll see if we can lure in. I, I would like to lure in Draker, if we can, and finish her off. Because with any luck, then she'll just stay fucked off. That would be nice. Biggest and strongest. Yeah, let's do that. Because my giants will level up pretty quickly. And uh, that'll give them... I mean, look, they've, they've, they've got 871 weapon strength, guys. Okay, you're not moving. You're just, you're just chilling. You can go and block that army. It's not really going to do much to help. Well, it's more a whim than an idea, really. Okay, let's head in this direction. So there's a couple of vampire armies in this over here. I haven't seen the rest. They could be ambush stance, potentially. Mount Gombad has a reasonably good garrison, which should be able to hold. Uh, let's get some more cash. And what I want is that, really. Because then we get more uh, more money for killing people. Which is kind of how we're surviving. You can be a specialist. You've actually succeeded a couple of times. Which is good stuff. And we just want to keep an eye on what these vampires are doing. So you know what? If you can block that army. that's pretty. It's pretty beaten up, though. It's pretty beaten up. So I think we'll probably be... Probably be alright. Can you stab that guy? Oh shit, you did. Good job. Uh, we got money, so to be honest, I don't really care. And I don't need an outpost because I've already got green skins. And oh, we've got command available down here, so let's go with growth, I guess. Try and grow this one up as quickly as possible, get some more money from there. We can reduce our expenditure. Uh, we just need to get these cafe armies locked down. I'm hoping that if we, I'm hoping the ambush is going to do it. There is there is a Greasus army there as well. 
So maybe he's he's coming along for the ride rather than dealing with Kugath. Okay, we were spotted, but that's fine. Corruption is still increasing here, but I reckon we can do. They they just they just they legged it. Like they're off. Didn't want to fight. Didn't want to didn't want to come and have a go. Where have they gone though? That is the question. They retreat to Hanuport? Mm, no. Let's go. Ah, there they are. I'm surprised. Only before dragons. All right, then. I'll do it. Let's. We've only got two armies here now, but they are probably our two strongest. Ronnie and Grimgore should be able to deal with that. So we hit Hanuport. There's a, still a lot of massing going on there, which is a real concern. But we'll, we'll have armies there. We've we got two armies heading there. Two armies heading there. That's all fine. We're going to hop through and attack the northern border. Where's Dryka fucked off to? There she is. Come here, you little shit. Can we reach you? Oh, we can reach you, and you do want to fight, which is weird. I don't. Re There's a lot of turkeys here, which I don't really like. There's, there's not a lot of infantry, which is what we're good at killing. It's just as well I put these giants in the army, really. Oh, he finally caught up with Dreyka. Oh, good shot from your, from your prodder there, Scarstick. That was good. Take out some of those blade guards. I have I have caused, like, catastrophic damage. If you shoot Scarstick's prodder into... Like, most of the time, like, 90% of the time, Scarstick's prodder does nothing. But there was one time where I shot it into a horde of dwarves, and it killed, like, 300 of the fuckers. And I've never been able to replicate that. No idea. Yeah, what Dreyka's army is, uh, well, a horde of shits. A few wood elves here and there. Oh, there's uh, some eleven dryads. I've got some eleven tree men as well. Our giants moving in to engage the tree men. And seeing as there's a nasty big blob of enemy units there, we're going to throw the fanatics in. In the fanatics go. Hooray! Unfortunately, some of them go awry, as fanatics are wont to do, and are careering throw our own units, which is not ideal. I also throw out more fanatics than, like, miss. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, the goblanity. Oh, the jam. So much jam. Oh, well. The squick hoppers coming in from behind. Uh, right, we really need to kill off these malevolent tree men. They are very tanky boys. However, our giants should be up to the task. I mean, for one, we're effectively beating them to death with their own cousin. So that's that's a good start. He's almost timber. Oh, God. A headbutt. A headbutt. Almost took down that tree man. Oh, no. <laughs> Landed in the goblins. More jam. All right, the main melee is over here. Dreyka's forces dwindling rapidly. Although doing damage to us, because of course we're just goblins. It's malevolent tree kin. I mean, they've got Scarstick's death juice on them. Which is nice. Because Scarstick's in there fighting. Dreyka slowly, slowly going down. How much damage does does the death juice do? That's what I want to know. Need to wait for him to hit. Oh, there. Uh, Fall to wait. I mean, you know, it's something. That level of tree man is racking up the kills, being shot to pieces, and also there's now a giant behind him. 
Hello. Oh, rude. Don't don't take that. Okay, we got this. This that that tree man's going. Oh, he's running. He's he's not looking very happy. He's not there for, he's, he's trying to run away. He's trying to run away. And Dryker is trying to run away as well. Well, we're not going to let her. This is for wandering through my lands and randomly laying siege to a settlement for some reason. Oh. Okay, well, dealt with that little horde. And down they go. Excellent. Uh, right, if we head back this way, Gerald, head into the mountains. I mean, unfortunately, we've got the dwarves kind of protecting us here a little bit. Which is good. God, so many. Oh, immune to Athens. Oh, that's not that useful. Minus five enemy control. Uh, again, also not that useful. You are, are you going for this? This feels very ballsy for you. I mean, you are mostly peasant people. You are mostly peasant people. Oglock, yeah, you're not moving. You're just, uh, you're protecting that region. And I don't want you to charge in because it looks a little bit risky. Skarsnick. I could make you wound maker, but... Let's go with a little bit of extra income from raiding, potentially. So we've got to level up your boys. You actually got you guys don't have any items, do you? I need to sort that out. I will sort that out. Uh, tell you what, you can have slacker slashes. How about that? Never let it be said that I don't reward my lads. I don't have much armor at the moment. It'll make you a little bit more killy, won't it? Talking of a little bit more killy, heroic killing blow would be useful. Uh, here we go, it would be good for making the goblins do a little bit of extra killing. And the empire's not looking, not looking good. How many settlements do you have, empire? Shush. You have four settlements. That's not great. I'll level with you. Barrel Legion, level one, uh, rank one. Sylvania, rank two. But then the Drakenhof Conclave isn't until ten. Which isn't great. And Muson's at, at 22 with only... Oh, I, I think they've managed to grab a settlement. I think they lost most of their armies and... I... Now, so I, I believe the crisis works in that they get... They get a large number of starter armies and their upkeep is reduced dramatically. So, they can recruit a lot more armies. But, the armies they start off with don't get replenished. So, or they do replenish, but they, they don't get more of them. So, any additional armies, they have to recruit themselves. Now, obviously, if they capture territory, then that's going to be really good for them. But if they don't, then they're kind of stuffed, which is why I think Muson is struggling, because I, I think they will have run out of their armies now, and uh, they can only probably recruit skeletons and shit, which isn't really going to help them very much. I'm going to block you for no particular reason other than you're there. Probably should bring you to to come and help. Uh, looks like the vampires got dealt with. They are attacking through here. They haven't attacked Karakadrin. You take me for a uh, have you moved this turn? Nope. Okay, so we can. I'll oh, raise it. I just want the dwarves weak, but if they could provide a little bastion for me, then that's all the better. Um, I would prefer, like, if I if I could, like, sack Kazakarak a couple of times, I would like that. And the reason I'd like that is because it would stop them from recruiting nasty shit, like uh, gyro bombers, which I'm not in favour of. Uh, but if they can, you know, hold the vampires back for me there while I'm dealing with Cathay, that would be... Useful. I'm not worried about what you're doing. Uh, we can get some more money there, which would be very useful. That I don't really care about. Outposts I don't really care about because I'm not really using them at the moment. 
Look, I've got... I've got... I forgot to move this. I've got some... some Skaven units. And uh, I feel like that is... That is enough for me. Well, I've got the battle I wanted. It says Pyrrhic victory. It's going to kill my Swick Hoppers. Of course it is. It always does. Well, here comes our main force, led by Ronnie, of course. Meanwhile, Zhao Ming's forces have deployed at the top of the hill, which, as you can see, leads to a little valley where his reinforcements are coming in, as are mine. Like, right now. So, um... Yeah, so, right. So, first things first, obviously, we need Ronnie's army to get up here ASAP, because otherwise Grimgore is going to be taking on three stacks by himself. And we also need to split our forces. So, our Black Orcs are going to engage Meow... No, Zhao Ming. There we go. Uh, Zhao Ming's forces, while the Biggins are going to protect off our rear flank from the incoming enemy units. We also need to get our artillery out of there before they get jumped. So, quickly, lads. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here come the enemy reinforcements. Move it. Move it or lose it. So, our Biggins now engaging the oncoming reinforcements who arrived just slightly after we did. And it looks like Zhao Ming trying to take out poor old Puzz. But Grimgor, oh, gets right in there. And uh, Zhao Ming is not going to want to fight Grimgore. Grimgore will just make a real mess of him. Which is good. Meanwhile, in the trees, our Black Orcs are getting stuck in. Backed up by the cavalry. And we've also got Squig Hoppers coming in from the rear from Ronnie's forces. Knocking out the missile units. The enemy infantry turn to face Grimgore, leaving their missile units open to attack from the squig hoppers from Ronnie's forces, which was really useful. It's chaos and confusion in the trees. Lord Lightning Cannon's turning their missile fire on the sentinels to try and take them down. Zhao Ming is, as I suspected he would, getting absolutely fucking destroyed by Grimgore. But he probably will be able to get away. More and more enemy reinforcements are flooding onto the battlefield as units in the main army are defeated. They've even got some artillery here. And the problem is the artillery they pushed us back from the f from the open position from the, uh, the 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 map border, which does mean that the artillery have room to open fire, which is a slight issue. So we're using magic to basically try and knock out these units as quickly as possible. There's the oh, I didn't. There is a June Dragon's Glowed. That's nice. That's a nice little, that's a nice little touch. Right, Zhao Ming has fled. Ronnie Pickering needs to take out these these lanterns. Ronnie's army has arrived, but is holding back from engagement. Because all they could just do at this boat is pile into the rest, and it wouldn't really help very much. The Black Orc seem to have this in hand. Lord Lightning Cannons bringing coming about to face the enemy artillery because there's some grand cannons and uh, rockets on the hill here causing some issues. Fortunately, the trees are mostly protecting us, but uh, our warp lightning cannons should be able to knock that out. Grimgore chasing down the enemy general. He's only level 8. He's only a little guy. No, he's not going to be much of a guy at this rate. He's going to get his ass kicked. The, um, you know what? I'm surprised. The Black Orcs made a real mess of the enemy army. Fortunately, we had the Squick Hoppers coming in to the rear there. And then the Biggins have managed to just hold two enemy stacks. Just hold them. They're getting absolutely destroyed. Spells dropping all over the place. Uh, they do have some crossbows now. 
is what Lightning Cannon is just picking off. Oh, there's a bit of rousing going on. People are starting to look unhappy. Meanwhile, in the skies, Ronnie Pickering is taking out the other enemy general, the one that just won't come down to play fair. I mean, looking at the battlefield, you can see that we, we've wiped out Zhao Ming's forces. And uh, it's just the reinforcements, of which there's not really that much left. There's a lot of dead Cathay here. A few units belatedly showing up to the battlefield. But they are very late. And way too late to actually do anything about the outcome. As they almost immediately then flee off the battlefield again. Well, it's not the most orthodox way to uh, to kill an entire army, but it seems to have worked. Uh, the biggins just... Fucking amazing work there, just carving their way through everything. Uh, we could take a little bit of extra replenishment there, which would be good. Okay, ambush with Warg failed. I don't... E uh, oh, I guess... Oh, you were going for thingy, weren't you? Oh, we can still resolve that, I think. Yeah, yeah, you they they were they were they were aiming for, for old Sly. But failed. So that is what? Three enemy armies <laughs> destroyed in one turn? That that should give us our open. I feel like that that should probably give us a nice open into Cathay. So yeah, we were spotted, uh, but they went for it anyway, which was Ooh, Ronnie's got more armor for his boys, which is good. Auckland's dead. Got more weapon strength, which is all good. Yeah, you guys haven't had a chance to replenish. But to be honest, I'm not overly concerned. Uh, but we can oh, we have to go. Oh, we have to go around the long way. Oh shit. Or we can go around this way. We could do some light raiding and also some replenishment. So let's head this way. Oh, there's, a, there's another army there as well. Of course. Ready for Endless fucking snacks. Hello? Nope, don't, don't think he did very well. Okay, good. That's unfortunate. Ronnie, how many levels did you get for that? That should be three levels. Yeah, I'm not surprised, to be honest. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Let's give you mob boss make our army cost a little bit less. Uh, I'm just going to tick, I think. Tick you. Uh, I can tick. Yeah, you're already ticked. That's fine. You're all ticked. Okay, let's go and tick the Temple of Elemental Wind. And oh, I'm just going to do an Occupy. Despair involved fighting. Oh yeah, you've already got you've already got your skill point. Oh, the vin village of the cat boys. Oh, we could hit over, we could head over to Shang Wu. Let's do that because it looks like I mean we, we've we've crushed a significant number of their armies. They've dropped down to strength rank sixteen. So from that, I can oh fuck me, that's a lot of there's three armies there now. Well, there's one army there. If you don't run too far, I could potentially take you out. <laughs> Ow! What the fuck was that? Oh, fuck. Fucking auto resolve. I, I was like, that was going to be so easy. I wasn't even going to bother looking at it. Oh, you son of a bitch. The fuck did you kill my trolls for, you motherfucker? Oh, that's so irritating. You should never, ever lose a unit on low casualties. That's just absolute bullshit. Oof. Oh, I'm actually really annoyed about that. 
Honestly, if it's if it's low casualties, why the fuck would you lose a unit? Low casualties, apart from this one unit, which is just dead. Oh, you son of a bitch. Right, minus eight, minus six. Oh, we got 12 from Plague. Oh, we maybe not be able. I mean, to be honest, it's probably fine. As long as Kugas stays down there. Is he chill? Yeah, he's chill. That's all right. And we've only got four turns of our war left. Get a nice big bonus. I do like a big. I'm, a, I'm worried about Oglock, though, because he is. He's by himself. There's five armies nearby. Which is... Which is concerning. Uh, we could replace... You know what? Let's get... Let's get some like... I, I do like my fanatics. We might need to send... We'll hit Hanupor and then we'll need to head north, I think, to deal with... with Yao Ying's problem. Grimgor... It does mean Grimgor is going to be by himself. He's going to have to head south and sort of take all this out. But to be honest, I'm fairly confident that he's... And plus, they've got such a large territory that I don't think they're going to be able to mass their units. Oh, the vampires are on the way. Anything you say. Are they... Let's, yeah. let's hop over here. Are they going to attack Kazakarak or are they going to bypass it and attack me instead? Yeah. What they're going to do... Let's get sneaky stabbers. Because already some of these boys go with Chevron. Absolute mad lads. Uh, I don't think defences are really going to help at this point, but let's do it anyway. If they've bypassed Karakadron. They really don't like attacking fortifications, do they? Okay, let's get red ready and waiting. Is Oh... And more campaign movement range. Ambush success chance. Uh, oh, because you get lightning strike by default, don't you? Let's give you extra campaign movement range. Will, mm, will the vampires head to Silver Pinnacle? I What I might do... If I could hop up here, I could sort of, like, defend both. Um, okay, we'll, we'll head down there for a minute. What do you want? Okay, you boys, we need to get over to help Oglock. Because uh, the, the massing that's going on there is deeply concerning. Gorfag, everything there seems fairly, fairly, no. fairly fine. Can't believe these guys have got like two settlements. I mean, they they, they do have stacks of skeletons, which is not not really that that problematic. This, this bullshit. You've got four, five armies. I genuinely think you should be able to take them. Didn't assassinate Isabella. Never mind. Uh, let's see if we can shank a dwarf. Can we shank the dwarf? No, well, never mind. Uh, you're just going to sit there. Well, in fact, can you shank that guy? They were not. Let's not upgrade these because there doesn't seem to be much point. Say something stupid. No, Greasus. The fact is, you're asking me to declare war on him while you're not even attacking him yourself. You're not even planning to attack him. I will make him take it back. Okay. 
So, they've fallen back. They are continuing to maintain their position here. So I'm going to maintain my position. Just going to keep an eye on them. Meanwhile, Zork, the Grand Inquisitor, is heading down. And, and this is quite important. So if you've managed to, like, make... If you've managed to, like, smash your way through several enemy armies, the best way to maintain your current strategic position is to just keep hitting them. Because they will start recruiting armies as soon as you destroy the old ones. And so the best thing you can do is just keep fucking hitting them. Again and again and again and again. Just do not relent. Now, there's a few armies there. Now, we can pull the garrison out. The garrison doesn't have any artillery. You do have a little bit of artillery, but not very much. Okay, so if we attack Shu Zheng here... Oh, you're just going to run. But you're going to run further towards the city. Okay, well, that's not actually... That's not actually a major problem. I'm a little bit worried about Grimgore down here. I, I don't know whether to send him by himself. Because we kind of... Kind of... In, you know, the Riverlands here, we're kind of like... We can, we can hit that. We can hit that with all of them. And we can, like, try... And we can link up with Oglock, take out Meow Ying, maybe then move up to um, Nangao, get Zork in here as well. Then we can potentially link up with the Yusak, and they can join in as well. But does Grimgor want to go it alone? I think that's going to be the poll for next time. Is Grimgor... I mean, Grimgor went it alone before, and he was fine. But... Do we want to do it again? Does Grimgore want to go alone again? That's going to be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.